Okay, in the earlier lesson, we talked about uh, the operation in mass spectrometer. Uh, now we will go to um, analyzing part, how to analyze the mass spectrum um, for a chlorine gas sample. Chlorine gas sample. It's a very, very common um, exam question. We are going to talk about analyzing of a chlorine gas sample using mass spectrometer. Okay, you should know that chlorine content, this is your all level knowledge as well. Chlorine consists of two isotopes. One is chlorine 35. One is chlorine 37. And this chlorine 35 and 37 are available in threes to one abundance ratio. It means now if this is highly theoretical, if this is a bag containing so many chlorine atoms, so many chlorine atoms. This is something you can't do, but I'm just telling. Now, suppose out of this chlorine atom, one person comes, okay, put the hand in and take one chlorine atom and take another chlorine atom. Likewise, if you take four chlorine atoms, we take four chlorine atoms. From four chlorine atoms, one will have the mass Cl37 and three will have the mass Cl35 each. So I'm telling here, chlorine 35 to chlorine 37, abundance ratio is three is to one. Okay, uh, but I'm not analyzing chlorine atoms, I'm talking about chlorine. Um, we'll see if there are two isotopes of chlorine, two isotopes, when we analyze a chlorine molecule, what sort of molecules do you think we have? Because there are two isotopes, you will have three types of chlorine molecules. Three types of chlorine molecules. Chlorine consists of two isotopes, 35 and 37 in three to one ratio. Therefore, there are three types of chlorine molecules. What are these three types of chlorine molecules? One chlorine molecule, even though I say Cl2, it may have two chlorine atoms each having the mass 35. So the mass of this chlorine will be 70 because chlorine 35, chlorine 35. Or else there can be another chlorine molecule where when one chlorine is 35, the other chlorine is 37. The mass of this is 72. And there can be another chlorine molecule, which is made up of two chlorine. One is 37. The other one is also 37. The mass of this chlorine molecule will be 74. There are three types of chlorine molecules according to the different combination of chlorine isotopes making the chlorine molecule Cl270, Cl272, Cl274, because they appear in atom combinations given like this. Remember earlier I told, when you analyze a molecule in this mass spectrometer, this molecule can give from the entire molecule, one electron can go out and you can get a molecular ion. The same thing happens with this chlorine also. When you analyze, chlorine molecule, one chlorine 35, 35 molecule will make a molecular ion. These molecules can undergo ionization as shown how. I'll write Cl, Cl, 35, This will undergo ionization given Cl, 35, Cl, 35. It will change to plus because it gives one electron. This is ionization. So one type of chlorine molecule has been formed. Not molecule, uh, molecular ion. Uh, I'll take another chlorine molecule. Where one chlorine is having the mass 35, atomic mass, the other one is 37. If this molecule is 
entered or inserted in the mass spectrometer, it will undergo ionization to give an ion 35, 37. It will change to plus, one electron goes out. Likewise, the last type of chlorine molecule, chlorine 37, chlorine 37, if an electron hits on this, it will undergo ionization, making CLC here. Each has a mass 37, mass 37, plus charge, plus one electron. Likewise, molecules of chlorine and undergo ionization. according to what I explain over here. How many peaks do you think a chlorine gas sample can produce uh, due to Cl2 molecules? My simple question is, how many peaks will be produced by Cl2 particles, Cl2 molecules? How many peaks can be produced by Cl2 molecules? Of course, Cl2 molecules should change to cations and molecular ions. They can produce how many? They can produce three peaks. In their M over E values, one is 70, one is 72, one is 74 M over E values. 70 for this. 72 for this, 74 for this. These peaks appear in height ratio of, or oh, height ratio I have not given here. Actually, this height ratio has to be 9 to 6 to 1. This height ratio is obtained when their probability values are processed in the following manner. Okay, I, I, I'll try to do this work. Method one. Let's say, uh, we are going to make the chlorine molecule. I want to find out that there are abundance of no, uh, chlorine 70 to 72 to 74 comes in height ratio 9 to 6 to 1. It happens like this. We have to make a chlorine molecule. Let's say now uh, we don't have any chlorine molecule atom here. You take one chlorine atom. Randomly, you choose one chlorine atom. This chlorine atom is, let's say, 35. Or else, the chlorine you are choosing can be chlorine 35. This is 35. It can be 37 also. Now, because their ratio is 3 to 1, do you remember I told earlier? Chlorine 35 to chlorine 37, abundant ratio is 3 to 1. So, when you take the first chlorine, for it to be chlorine 35, abundance is 3 over 4. And the probability to get a chlorine 37 is one over four. When you get four chlorine atoms, three can be 35. One can be 37. Now we have chosen one chlorine. To this chlorine, I'm gonna add the next chlorine also. Next chlorine can be, again, Cl35. Or else it can be Cl37. Down here, to go with this chlorine 37, there can be another chlorine, which is also 35. Or else it can go with chlorine 37. Now there are four pathways here. In this pathway we get, I'll use a different color for that. Chlorine 35, chlorine 35. What's the probability for this? Oh, I didn't write that. For the second chlorine um, pick also we have, for chlorine 35, we have three over four probability. For this chlorine 37, we have one over four probability. For this 35, we have three over four probability. For this 37, we have one over four. So, if you get chlorine 35, chlorine 35 
the total probability is 3 over 4 into 3 over 4. Or at least mine over 16. Now, if you go to this one, second pathway, there we have chlorine 35, chlorine 37. What's the probability? 3 over 4 here and 1 over 4. It is equal to 3 over 4, 3 over 16. Now, I'll go to this third chlorine. This chlorine can be 37, 35. Chlorine 37, chlorine 37, uh, 35. There are the probabilities uh, 1 over 4 into 3 over 4. This is 3 over 16. Now, the last possibility. Chlorine 37, chlorine 37, 1 over 4 into 1 over 4. It is 1 over 16. Now see, the mass of this is 70. Mass over this is 72. Mass over this also 72. Mass over this is 74. Here we have uh, chlorine 72 coming in two pathways. So a total probability for them to get 72 mass is 6 over 16. This is 9 over 16. This is 1 over 16. It means when you make 16 molecules, one will have the mass 35, uh, 70. Six will have the mass 72. One will have the mass 74. So it is this 9 to 6 to 1 height ratio that you get as given in the note above. This is having height 9. This has a height 6. This has a height 1. The three peaks appear in 70, 72, 74 MOVE values in height ratios 9 to 6 to 1. This is how we can work out the height ratio of chlorine molecule, uh, chlorine uh, Cl2 peaks using a probability chart. Okay, so now this uh, high height ratio of these three peaks uh, can be found out in this manner using a uh, tree, uh, probability tree or tree diagram. Uh, and also in the exam, it's not necessary to go for um, these tree diagrams. You can do it in this manner also. But for this, we should know the probabilities. Now see in the method two, if you know chlorine 35, chlorine 35, uh, the probability of this is three over four. Uh, this is also three over four. Together, this is Actually, we have to have, um, if I remove this, we can write um, 9 over 16. And here is chlorine 35. This one can be written as um, chlorine 35, chlorine 37. Chlorine 35 is... 3 over 4 into chlorine 37 is 1 over 4. There can be chlorine 37, chlorine 35 in the other way around also. So for that we get 1 over 4 into 3 over 4. Now this is 4 over 16. 3 over 16. This is also 3 over 16. Together, it is 9 over 6, not 9. Oh, I made a mistake here. 3 over 16, 3 over 16. 
it comes as 6 over 16. 6 over 16. This is 9 over 16. This is 6 over 16. And here, this is 1 over 4. This is 1 over 4. Together, you get it. What did I do? This is 4. So we have um, 1 over 16. So 9 to 6 to 1. You can present this answer in this manner also. Uh, whichever easy for you can be taken. But this comes very rarely. How you if it comes? Fine. Afterwards, we have to think about one more thing. Uh, all this time we talked about how chlorine molecules, CO2, how chlorine molecules can change to chlorine plus and give three peaks. Okay, but then again, earlier I told formation of molecular ions. Please learn this very well. This comes under this not fragmentation. I didn't talk about fragmentation. The meaning is this. Molecular ions can at times undergo fragmentation. It means if you take a molecule like this, first the molecule changes to cation, and then this will break into two, like this. That's called fragmentation. In a fragmentation reaction, a molecular ion, this is a molecular ion. A molecular ion breaks into two fragments, fragment one, fragment two. One of which is a cation ion. Okay, if the first one is a positive charge, the other is a neutral free radical. Neutral means no charge. Free radical means there's one unpaired electron in it. Unpaired electron, we show it as dot. If you don't understand the meaning of unpaired electron and free radical, do you know hydrogen? Hydrogen atom has only one energy level with one electron. This is a free radical. Hydrogen is a free radical. If I go to uh, aluminum, aluminum has outermost three electrons. Outermost three electrons. Uh, aluminum, if you remember, aluminum is group three. Group three general configuration is NS2, NP1. There are two electrons paired. One electron, the single electron, because the single electron is given as a dot. This is a free radical. This is a free radical. Now, chlorine. Chlorine has outermost seven electrons. Uh, chlorine has 17 electrons. Outermost seven electrons. Seven electron means general configuration is NS2, NP5. So when you draw the energy level, outermost energy level, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One electron is remaining, unpaired. So these sort of elements are, uh, these sort of atoms are called free radicals. Neutral free radicals. What are free radicals? Free radicals are highly reactive particles and they contain unpaired electrons. What happens now? When a molecular ion undergoes fragmentation, this fragmentation produces a free um, neutral particle and a free radical. It happens like this. Look at this. This CH3, CH2, CH3 plus molecule ion can undergo fragmentation. Fragmentation means it breaks into two. When it breaks into two, you will get CH3, maybe plus, and we have the CH3, CH2, it will be a free radical. Or else you will get CH3, free radical plus, 
you will get CH3, CH2 plus. Children, it's not very difficult to understand. You think like this. When a molecular ion breaks into two, if two particles are formed, in some particles, one type here it is CH3. One type of particle becomes positively charged. If one particle, one fragment is positively charged, the other one is a free radical. Or else, the CH3 in another molecule can come out as a free radical, then CH3, CH2 comes out as a positive charge. And then mass spectrometry is going to identify only cations. So if it fragments like this, this CH3 plus will be identified. It will not see this one. And if it breaks down in the second method, then this will be identified, not CH3 dot. However, overall, when you analyze millions of molecules, millions of molecular ions will be formed, millions of CH3 plus particle and CH3, CH2 plus particles will be formed. And these particles will give peaks in the mass spectrum. Likewise, um, yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, these chlorine molecular ions, chlorine molecular ion means something like chlorine 35, 35 plus, chlorine 35, 37 plus, chlorine 37, 37 plus. In the meantime, these chlorine molecular ions can undergo fragmentation and form two types of ions, Cl35 and Cl37, in abundance ratio 3 is to 1. Chlorine 35 plus will have a height, ratio, uh, height of 3. Chlorine 37 plus will have a height of 1. This results in two peaks at 35 and 37 in the height ratio 3 is to 1. Okay, <clears throat> in 35 and 37, there will be uh, two peaks in the height ratio 3 is to 1. Hence, the full mass spectrum of a chlorine gas sample takes the following form. You take down this y axis is for the abundance and x axis for m over e at thirty five here. We have one p at thirty seven another peak. Height ratio is 3 is to 1. And at 70, there will be one peak. At 72, there's another peak. At 74, there's another peak. Height ratio is 9 to 6 to 1. These two peaks are due to chlorine plus particles. These three peaks are due to chlorine two plus. Due to chlorine plus two peaks, due to Cl2 plus, there are three peaks. We can use a mass spectrum discussed, the spectrum to calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine. So I can write relative atomic mass is equal to, there are three particles of chlorine 35. So total mass is three into 35. Plus one particle of the mass 37, one into 37. Total number of atoms is four. When you analyze this, you will get 35.5. Do the calculation and see.